This is the CEO, <laughs> India. Love it. Thanks so much, for Some of the team. Morning, team. Morning. Morning. So we might just kick off quickly. Um, look, in one sentence, can you tell us about Avid? Yeah, so Avid is now Australia's largest and most influential native content network. So we've got seven media brands that we own. Um, over 60 plus of Australia's best independent leading publishers, 500 plus influencers, uh, and our data partners as well. So, yeah, combined we reach 80 million plus Australian, Australians each every month. Jeez, there's not many left there. No. <laughs> I love it. No, no, no. And look, why, can you tell us why an advertiser so, would want to work with that? But obviously there's a lot of reach there, but what else can you guys bring to the table? Yeah, so I think um, an enormous amount, I'll try and articulate. So, First one is using native content to influence their consumers better. Um, why they would then use native and work with us is um, as simple as briefing us once, and our mantra brief once, personalized everywhere. So yeah, really resource light on their side. Um, more often than not, what we're doing is actually giving in-house teams back resources. And with that, what we're doing in the campaigns is driving huge volumes of user or new user traffic um, through the Midfus uh, consideration. But beyond that, we're sharing huge volumes of audiences back from retargeting, we're driving full price sale. Yeah, it's, it's pretty substantial. Yeah, that's fantastic. And what does an average day at Avid look for you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so rock up, get a hot chocolate, take this one out to the loo. Um, but yeah, I think from a team's aspect, we're extremely collaborative. We've got a brilliant piece of IP tech, which we've built from the ground up, which does a lot of the heavy lifting. That allows sort of the teams here to be really white glove focused on brands. So what we do is we start off every day with a really collaborative call between the commercial teams, um, you know, our campaign, content, uh, and strategy teams. And from there, it's a divide and conquer to work out how we can best serve those brands. Yeah, fantastic. And you mentioned that sort of collaborative aspect. How, how would you say it's best for brands yeah, to get involved not. with that collaboration? Yeah, so I think the best, best start to working with Avid is because we're at the very pointy end of innovation, there's no one globally doing what we're doing. There's a big education oh. deficit. Mm -hmm. It's about 20 to 30 minutes to explain exactly what we do and how we do it. So I think, yeah, for them, it's be open to that exploration, that education piece, and then from there, you know, we can, we can build the partnership with them. Yeah, amazing. So a little bit left to feel, but what's something that's been unreal that happened to you guys this year? Um, I just, so I think we're, we're in a period of rapid growth, which is awesome. Um, it's being underpinned by some really beautiful cultural fabric, which is pretty cool. Um, but just, yeah, in sheer numbers, you know, we've, we've, we've doubled from sort of 15 to 30 in the last six to nine months. Um, within the next sort of six months, we're gonna take that to about 90. So it's a very different business, you know, every day when you walk in the doors here. Yeah, big growth targets for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what's your favorite thing about the affiliate channel? Um, I love the front of his aspect. So <laughs> I, love think, that too. <laughs> I think, you know, regardless of who we're working with in this space, everyone is is really sweet and really genuine. Um, it's really tech forward, which is pretty cool. And I think brands love that about it. Um, and I think it's got a huge amount of youthful energy. You yeah. know, I'm, I'm nowhere near the youngest in, in, in the space. Um, but regardless of age, I think everyone is just really pushing in the right direction. Yeah, totally. Love it. Um, and so I guess in relation to the industry, what's something um, that you guys uh, would really love to see in this coming year? Um, so I think for us is bringing more top and middle funnel partners into that space. We're already seeing a lot of it. We think the acceleration is, is going to happen faster and faster. Yeah, totally. Um, and uh, how would you describe your team in three adjectives? Yeah, so I think the underpinning mantra or the umbrella mantra is, is above you, be, be better, be personal. Um, but the team, as, as a description in three adjectives, I'd say the first one is pioneering. We are doing something no one else is doing globally. Um, human, we're approaching it um, with the lens of building up individuals rather than sort of um, forced conformity. Um, and genuine, we are, we're not a group of kind of 
pandas for PR sake, certainly. We do a lot of really cool grassroots social stuff here. Yeah. Um, and that's for its own purpose. It's not to make us look good on, on LinkedIn or whatever. Yeah, true. A bit of genuine aspect to it. Yeah. Love it. Um, and look, where do you see the affiliate channel or you know, industry going this year? I know it's been a, already three months in, but there's all, already a lot of things happening. What do you think is on the horizon? Yeah, so done a lot of, I guess, strategy and research in this space. Um, one of the, I guess, the biggest identified trends, the one we're probably most aligned to, is that brands will continue at a more rapid rate this year to embrace the full partner ecosystem. Mm. So, yeah, less about, you know, last week, CPA, um, you know, purely for the final final performance stuff. It's about you know, the whole marketing approach and how does that how does that work and how does that fit? How do we bring more people into the partnerships that, that exist? Already? Yeah, yeah, totally driving value. Cool. A couple of rapid fire questions. Yeah. For you. What are three things you can't live without? Um, dogs. Easy, easy one. Um, my partner, absolutely, um, and my sister. And I'll tag on her two little mini memes to that as well. They kind of wonder it. Yeah, love it. So I guess maybe what's your biggest inspiration? My sister. Yeah. yeah. So we've got all our kids' photos up. Um, something fun to do in the office. <laughs> um, mine's in the middle. Um, when I used to have hair a very long time ago, and then my beautiful sister was beside me. So apart from just being, um, I think, an, you know, an amazing success. You know, she's the, the MD of a massive company. Um, she's achieved an amazing amount of things academically. She's an amazing mum, two years um, And she basically raised me as well, so I'm referring to as the, the first child. So, yeah. yeah, nice. Placing a family by the same yeah. time. Yeah. Um, and look, favourite band or artist? <laughs> Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam, yeah. yes. Um, and finally, um, if you could have dinner with someone dead or alive, yeah, who's it going to be? Um, I think I'd have to choose Bob Dylan. Mm, no, I think, right. apart from the musical thing, he's got he's had a really good social lens, mm. um, the lens on life for what nearly 70, 60, 70 years now. Yeah, um, probably a couple of good stories. I think yeah. he had a few good stories. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today. It's been great to get to know you and Abbott, and really appreciate your time. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks.